In today's video, I'll be running through five items that I pack with me on every single trip. These are more unexpected travel essentials, but trust me, they have multiple uses and are going to come in handy regardless of where you are traveling. The fourth one on this list cost me less than $1 and has saved my life on multiple occasions. The first thing that I will never travel without is a stainless steel thermos. There are so many reasons to add one of these hot cold thermoses to your packing list. You can take the empty thermos through TSA security and fill it up from the water fountains in the airport before boarding your flight. This is my favorite way to avoid paying $5 or sometimes even $10 for airport water bottles. You can also ask the flight attendants while in flight to fill it up with the coffee or tea that they're serving as opposed to giving it to you in one of those tiny reusable cups. The ones that don't really keep anything hot for long and end up spilling over with even just a little bit of turbulence. During your travels, you can use the thermos to stock up on hotel coffee before taking off for the day. This was particularly helpful to be able to take coffee along while on day trips in Egypt where we would end up starting these long van rides at 4 a.m. in the morning. And if you are staying at an all-inclusive resort, you could help save the planet by refilling your drinks in a thermos while additionally keeping those cocktails cold. I personally choose to travel with one of these empty thermoses as opposed to traveling with a reusable water bottle due to the many, many uses. Let us know if you bring an empty water bottle or a thermos through TSA security to fill up at the airports before you board the flight by leaving yes water bottle down in the comments. I feel like this is one of those travel hacks that is truly timeless. The next travel essential for you to consider packing for your next trip would be a day bag. We can get so caught up in packing our carry-on suitcase and large backpack that we don't even consider what we will be using for the day-to-day -day during our trip. You do not want to be lugging a full-size backpack with you on a day trip, nor do you want to have just a tiny purse that is not going to be large enough to store things like your water bottle or your snacks or, in my case, your thermos. Packing a separate, smaller backpack also means that you don't need to empty out your large carry-on backpack for day-to-day -day use. I also love packing a day bag full of my in-flight essentials so I have access to them on the plane while my larger carry-on backpack can be placed in the overhead bin. Speaking of in-flight essentials, I will always pack a pair of noise-canceling headphones. I've partnered with Soundcore on this video to show you the Space Q45 headphones that I personally use for travel. They have multi-mode noise cancelling with options for transport, outdoor, and indoor. Transport mode is specifically designed to block out airplane noise, which it does a heck of a good job of. One of my favorite features of these headphones is that it also has transparency mode where you can simply tap the side of the headphones and you will be able to hear everything around you, including the flight attendant asking for your drink order or the pilot making an announcement over the speakers. And in my opinion, the best thing about these headphones is that they have a 50 hour runtime. Fun fact, even on the longest flight in the world, which is just over 18 hours from New York to Singapore, you won't have to worry about the battery needing a charge. And while the Space Q45 headphones work wirelessly, they are truly built with travelers in mind and come with an airplane adapter that is going to work with the Seatback Entertainment System. I'll leave a link for you to check out the Space Q45 headphones for your next trip down in the description. The next travel essential cost me $1 and I take it with me absolutely everywhere. A USB-A to USB-C adapter. You'll want to grab one of these if you plan to charge your devices on the airplane. Despite many devices upgrading to USB-C, you'll still usually find a USB-A slot on the seat back. And in addition to this being an in-flight essential, I find myself using this adapter throughout my trip. Hotels often have USB-A charging slots available, which come in handy when you are in a foreign country that uses a different plug than the one you have with you. If you don't have the correct plug and your accommodations doesn't have a USB-A or a USB-C slot available, another travel hack I love is using the USB-A slot on the back of a TV to charge my devices. Just one more reason that I cannot live without my USB-A, USB-C adapter. 
Another cheap travel essential that cost me less than $10 would be a waterproof phone case. I'll be using this whether I plan to get into the water during my trip or not. There are two things to look out for when choosing to purchase one for yourself. Look for one that is larger than your phone so you can fill it with other valuables. I sometimes put money and my hotel key inside of it while I'm swimming so I can keep these items with me instead of leaving them unattended on the beach or by the pool. You'll also want to choose a waterproof case that has a long neck strap. Even if you are not swimming, a case with a long neck strap is going to give you easy access to your phone to do things like take photos or look up directions while in a tourist hotspot. I'll sometimes even stick my passport inside of my phone case along with my cell phone and then I will tuck it into my shirt to prevent theft while walking through the airport. Do you have a travel essential that I did not mention in this video? Please do us all a favor by letting us know your travel must have down in the comment section. Best of luck on your next adventure and then I also hope you'll subscribe so you can join us back here for more travel tips and hacks next week. Bye.